Welcome to SHOT Show 2020 with SOG and Studies and Observations Group. Uh, it's been a big year for us. We've been working for a couple years on deciding to do a little bit of deep dive introspection on what it means to be SOG, what it means to be SOG. We're named after a unit from the Vietnam War, MACV SOG, SOG Center for Studies and Observations Group. Uh, we took that meaning and that acronym to heart. So we've studied, we've observed, and we've decided to bring that into all of our product design. You saw that in a little bit in last year with things like Terminus XR, CLXR, Kiko XR, working with actual end users as far as new products. And we decided it was time to take that into some of our tried and true classics and give them a little bit of a refresh. So we've got new Flash, new Aegis, new Trident, new Ultra CTI, new version of the Vision and Pentagon, as well as a couple other new and exciting things like Parashears. Um, we're designing these with ambidexterity in mind, we're designing these with absolute user feedback for people that are counting on them when everything goes sideways and they need something designed for the highest caliber of performance. So, giving you a quick run through of these, we've got the Ultra, um, Ultra XR, so this is using our XR lock, carbon fiber and titanium, this one happens to have the gold titanium nitrate on there, completely ambidextrous, so you got that clip, titanium, uh, this is going to be CPM S35VN, as you can totally read that upside down. One hand open, one hand close. Use it as a pocket clip, use it as a money clip, just don't forget it when you're flying. It always hurts when that happens. Over here, we've got the brand spanking new Aegis. So, if you guys remember the Aegis from years gone by, you got a little safety back here. Pretty similar overall footprint, but we gear this more to the outdoor user. So we stripped it down and specialized it. It's gonna have a cryo-treated D2 steel in there. And this is our new ATXR. That's so our assisted technology XR locking mechanism, which gives us ambidexterity and increased strength. Disengage, you just pull down, fold the whole thing up. Safety is this little guy on the spine. So click it up, you have a nice hard ridge you can feel when it's locked. Roll that forward, little dot of red, a little bit of a rounding there, and you're ready to go. Push out at about a 45 degree angle. And let's assume I actually hit the thumb stub. It opens up. And the same is true for lefties. Partially because we like left-handed people, and partially because the real world demands that you sometimes have to use your offhand. Clip is also ambidextrous and reversible. This will land in your loop, helps it tie it to you when you're out running around, you don't want to drop it in the woods and never be seen again. Next up there, this is our new Flash. This is one of the several colorways we have it. This is in a yellow, this is a limited edition, going to be uh, SMU for it. We'll also have it in blue, a bunch of other colors to help you customize it and make your EDC match a little bit better. Same D2, same overall locking mechanism. Same overall functionality, but just a little bit slimmer, a little bit leaner, fits in the pocket better. It's not something you're going to wear with cargo pants, it's something you're going to have when you're running around in basically a city for it. This is part of one of the flagships of our EDC line along with the Terminus XR. One hand open, this is open and close, XR lock, full ambi. One of the biggest changes is going to be towards our Trident line. So you remember the Trident, you remember the Trident Elite? This is going to be the Trident AT, Trident Assist Technology, still have a lanyard loop. Still have a really grippy uh, handle scans. Still not going to be that cryo tutor D2. A little bit of red to pop it out. Fully ambidextrous. And for the Trident series, because it's geared towards people who need it when situations matter most and are most dire. We also have tungsten carbide glass breaker integrated. Grab and go. In addition to that belt cutter, when you need to get somebody out of the vehicle or get yourself out of the vehicle. Again, ambidextrous. This is going to stick in your hand no matter what. Nice and grippy. It's going to stay there. We have it serrated. We have a Tonto blade plain edge. We have just a clip point and plain edge. Also, that cryo treated D2, just like with the Flash and the Aegis. A little bit of an upgrade geared more towards the very discerning professionals. We've got a new version of our Vision. This is going to be the Vision XR. This is the XR lock that we use on the CLXR, uh, Terminus XR. Everything has that XR following it. There's no assist here at all. So, fully manual, in case that's a problem for you. This is going to be a cryo treated XHP. Still ambidextrous, but the XR lock uses lock strength, or has lock strength. It caps out around 2,000 pounds. It sort of depends on the model of the knife. Obviously, the thicker, beefier knife, the more lock strength you have with it. But serrated, tanto tip, Neil G10 handle scales. Again, geared towards the consummate professional. And then last but not least, for sort of new and exciting knives that we've got going on, that's the big splashes and revitalizations of classic designs is going to be the new folding Pentagon, or the Pentagon XR. This is also going to be in that cryo-treated XHP. It still uses that XR lock, so you've got those three ways of opening it. Use the thumb stud, 
use that back flip, pull on the lock and rotate it out. Clearly, I need to play with this one more. That, a little bit of timing, a little bit of getting to know you for anything really exciting. And as far as tools used for professionals, we've got a pair of shears. I was part of the testing process on this. I've put mine through about 200 feet, linear feet of rawhide. You've got one hand deployment and closure. Just depends on how you want to do it. Pouch lets you store the tool either open or closed. In addition to the shears that use our compound leverage for it, you've got a host of other goodies tucked in here. These are not something that you're necessarily going to use when it's hugely dire, but it's nice to have integrated. So things like rope cutter, awl, bottle opener, flathead, Phillips. You've got an easy deployment line cutter or belt cutter, so you need to get through those seat belts quickly. Liner lock that keeps that open, fold that down, close up. Roll your finger along here, catch onto this little nub in there, and you've got carbide tip glass breaker. There's also an integrated O2 valve. And because you never know when you get that splinter, tweezers. And again, if you need it, shove your fingers through that big loop, down, up, and you're ready to go. Once you've treated it, just roll everything back and you can stow it without having an exposed sharp. The pouch that this guy comes with is full molly compatible and works with the tool either closed or if you want something that's a little bit more rapid access works with it open as well kind of the latest and greatest is everything we've got going on this year like I said it's been a big year for us we've studied we've observed we've decided how to act and we're going to repeat that going on moving forward thank you for joining us